Hi guys, Nikki here from Angela Holtz Designs. Um, I'm making a altered peg. Um, I've not managed to do one of these yet because I wasn't able to find them. Um, and I found it for two pound in um, a shop called Tiger here in the UK. Um, and I'm doing something a little bit different for a local coffee shop that my daughter goes to. Um, they asked about putting some of my work in there so I thought I'd do something on their theme which is tea and coffee um, and along with their name so we're uh, I've cut some pieces out um, mainly because it's a lot of fussy cutting um, the banner I wanted to dry before I started assembling everything um, and it's a matter of what do I do and how are things going and what have you so um, I took this lovely paper um, it's part of a free collection that I got some years ago um, and was just waiting for the right sort of opportunity to use them so what we're doing is this is going to be the front and the plain the flower piece is the back so first thing we should need to do is glue it down. Don't need that much glue. to flatten it out and it doesn't matter if you've gone you've got a tiny bit of edging because most of that is going to be covered in any case and then we put the bottom part on make sure we get that the right way around As you can see, you can just trim a bit if you need to. There we go. Let's put the back straight on. Not quite so much glue this time. I'm hoping to use some of the laces that I have from um, Angela, which is Angela Holtz Designs. She has, um, she's got this new collection going of um, shabby chic kits. And what's nice is there's nothing in there to say this is what you have to make with the kit. Um, you basically get all the elements and you can make whatever you wish out of them. It's they're fantastic kits, they really are. As I say, I'm going to try and play with some today. And there we are so far. Hold on, need a bit of glue at the bottom here. So, that's the front. And that's the back. Oh, straight. Here we go. I've cut the little notch out just here where the metal bar is of the clip. It, this side it doesn't matter because it's been cut into two in any case. So we have um, a teapot some cups, a few little bits and pieces and a little banner that I've made um, which I'm not sure where that's going at the moment so we shall see as we go there we go <coughs> I'm going to 
use a bit of the distress inks to um, just give it a bit of sort of shabby distressed sort of thing. I'm using Victorian velvet Tim Holtz inks. You could cut the um, little pieces out here. I'm hoping that you won't actually get to see them bits as I go. Okay, the sun's just appeared. Sorry about that. Um, right, I'm going to have to pull the door to. what I get for being in the summer house. And I want to try and round the cups a bit because I don't want them to look flat. doing the teapot. Yeah, these images I'm using, um, all these pieces, the letters and everything included, um, I will be putting a link at the bottom. Uh, vintage, I can't quite read what that says. <laughs> vintage glamour. WordPress. They're from one of the um, free downloading um, sites. And a lovely set. the same and just all I'm doing is using my hands to move the card so it won't look so flat when it sits on there yeah it's a whole collection um, you have, as I say, I've, I've chopped half of it out now. There is a sheet with the letters on. Oops. At least there was. Try and rip them. Right. This is the letters and these little tags here I've chopped off. You also get the these lovely tags. And you get this one which had the teapot and the cups on. <laughs> so, I'm gonna just add a tiny bit of the colour to the top of the banner. Not do the ends actually. Mm. 
so you can see. The shop's called Ocean Bell. Um, oh, they do some amazing tea, they really do. any of this <laughs> at the moment so but maybe something like this I don't want it to come off slightly so I don't want it to all be just on there way too much adding all that hmm. this is just one of the little pieces that came on one of the sheets it just says number one and we have a little ticket here I like this, this is really cute and it's just got a more written on it nothing else taking the hardness of the white off I don't think I need them right now somehow I want to have the cups on here and I was debating about putting some lace on it as well somewhere a tea out and while I was off camera I did a quick sort of play of some bits I wanted to try um, this is part of this beautiful piece of lace that is in Angela Holt's kit uh, shabby chic kits which um, there's a link at the bottom which will take you to her <laughs> blog um, and that's where you can sign up for the next Shabby Chic kit. Um, I think the f it's the first week of November, if I'm right, to uh, sign up for the Shabby Chic kit. Uh, <coughs> and all these little bits and pieces are also from Angela Holt's um, shabby chic kit I'm going to use a couple of these little sort of rhinestones so the first thing I need to do is get my cups on and maybe round them a bit more so they don't look so flat they might stand out a bit more then I'm also going to put the I 
as you can see I've only put it on the one piece because the rest of it is hanging off so I don't want it um, all the hot glue to go elsewhere I don't want to put too much glue because I want it to sit and look as natural as it can. Yeah, these little flowers. Um, are also out of the next um, chubby sheet kit. This one on first. So I'm going to burn myself instead. <laughs> Try and keep it as natural as I can. With the feathers, you don't need loads of glue, you just need enough for it to hold. Let me check them out here so we can see the. Didn't put enough glue on the white one. So what I've done with the lace, um, I've actually taken a oops, no, don't want flowers yet. <laughs> this is the size of it, um, and I've actually just trimmed off this scallop piece. I've only done what just over three yeah, three scallops is all I've taken off. Because I didn't need loads to make this. All I've done is basically put a knot right in the centre and because I'm going to put something on it it's not it's not it doesn't have to be perfect but that's what Shabby Chic is all about it isn't perfect. The only dilemma I have is do I put the pearl on it this on and then we can work out what to put on next because I was thinking of this something like this to hang from the bottom but I would like it to stand up so I can't do too much at the, on the flush piece of the bottom so quite like the little angel um, this has got the little pieces I mean you could actually put ribbon through it if you wanted to but I'm cutting back off because then I can have it sitting flush on there yep I do like that Now 
need to put a couple of these little gems somewhere. You only need a tiny amount of glue for these. Just adds a little bit of bling to it. It doesn't. I don't want it to go OTT. So. So what's good about using the hot glue for them is because they've got the little points on the end there you don't have to oops, worry about them being flush if you can see so the hot glue is nice because it keeps it standing upright I'm done. So, don't know whether to put the one of these gems or flat back pearls. Perfect. Or gems even. Do we go for no, we need the bling, don't we? Yes, I'm actually running out of my flat backs. So luckily I'm going away in November, so I shall uh, go into the NEC and I will um, be able to get a stock up on a lot. Poke it all. Where have you gone? Ah, there it is. Tea. Yep. Right. What I'm going to do here is actually put one there. Turn it around and put the two together. we can trim this little piece off. Ah, yes, that's better, I like that. It just gives a little bit more bling on the end there. So, let's maybe do it back to front rather than front to back. Mm -hmm. Get 
quickly do with some smaller ones to pop on the points. Go, an altered peg. And I'm not doing anything on the back, so hopefully that is how it will sit, and that's how it will be seen. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you like it. And as I said, I shall put a link at the bottom for the Shabby Sheet kits by Angela Holtz Designs. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.